Okay, so I just want to show everyone about uh, Pareto Logic's PC Health Advisor. I just want to give you a, a little tour of inside of it, what it is, what it does. Um, but before I do, I just want you to know that I do not work for this company. Um, they did not pay me to make this review. I just think it's a great software, and and uh, therefore I just want to share with you what it does and, and how it works. That way you can better decide if it's for you or not. Um, first of all, I will tell you there's a lot of people out there telling you that you can download it for free, uh, you can get it for free. Um, you can download it for free, but it's only a trial, which basically means it'll scan your computer and tell you the errors and what it can fix and repair, uh, but you can't actually fix or repair them until you do purchase it. <clears throat> I will tell you, though, that I went through numerous software products, and uh, most of them were free, and they don't even come close to comparing to how well the software works for it so for the small price um, of what I paid for it um, I'm, I'm really glad I did and I'm sure you will be too if you do decide to buy it so when you load it up this is going to be the main screen that you see and you got your main click to start scan and this is basically like an all-in-one scan if you click it it's going to scan your registry files, it's going to scan your driver files, which uh, basically it's going to notify you if any of your drivers in your computer is outdated, and it'll allow you to download them on your computer so you can update them. Um, uh, the process and the privacy, um, we'll go talk about these here uh, in just a second, but let me go ahead and I want to cancel out this for a second. Now, once the scan's completed, it's going to go through and it's going to show you um, all the errors that it found or all the things that can um, be used to help clean up or optimize your computer and basically you just click fix all and it's going to go through and it's going to fix it all for you so let me just go back and what I want to do is uh, take you through and show you what each one of these are first you got your driver manager so what you can do instead of going through and doing the uh, the main scan where it scans everything at once you can just do them in individually if you'd rather and this is the driver manager so it'll, it'll scan just for the drivers the process manager this shows you everything that's currently running on your computer and um, it'll all be blurred out on here just for privacy reasons I don't want to show everyone what's on my computer where it's at and where it's running um, also the performance of your computer it'll show you your CPU usage, your memory usage, and page file usage. And what's really nice is it's got little keys up here that tell you um, on each file that's listed that's currently running on your computer, if it's a system file, if it's something that uh, you installed, if it's other, uh, which means basically it, it can't really recognize what it is, if it's something that's unwanted or shouldn't be there, or if it's malware and any of the any of these processes you can just click on and you can click to end it and that'll basically destroy that process from running so let's go back and then we have the startup manager uh, these also will be blurred out because I don't want people to see exactly where these files are out on my computer um, but what startup manager is if your computer's uh, booting up extremely slow when you turn on your computer if it takes forever for it to load it's most likely because you have all kinds of products products, uh, uh, software tools, applications, whatever, that are trying to load when your computer starts. And in here you can just select um, whichever one you want with these little X's and basically that's going to disable them from starting up when you start your computer and so next time when you start your computer it's going to skip over these and it's going to allow your computer to boot up a lot faster. You got browser object manager, and this is really neat because up here it even tells you the browser helper objects are plugins for your browser, and you can disable them. And what these are, a lot of times when you download uh, software, especially free software, they will automatically install things on your toolbar for your computer, which causes um, a lot of annoying things to happen. It can be pop-ups, it can be ads, it can redirect your site to other pages. Um, it can slow your browsing down and basically you can just click on any of them and you can disable them right here and this is really cool because you don't have to spend all your time digging through all of your files looking for them because they're, they're just going to be listed um, under each tab here uh, optimize the speed of your computer by removing unwanted process unwanting processes and tweaking settings see the driver manager I'm not going to go through that again yet and file extension manager this is really neat 
if there's a file on your computer and you have no idea what it is, you can type in here what it ends with. Um, for example, let's go with like a PDF file, something for Adobe Reader. You type in .pdf and find software. It's basically going to show you software that you can download, um, and if it's free or not, that will allow you to access that file. So that's pretty cool. And then we go over to disk. And in here, this is a, a duplicate file finder. Basically, it just helps you to find duplicate files uh, and to remove them, which helps you to free up space. It has a restore point manager, which allows you to back up and restore your computer in case uh, something does happen. If you install something new on your computer, causes it to go haywire, you can uh, go back to your restore point, click on it, and it'll back your computer up to that point before you installed it. So really neat. And then let's go... Whoops, from the wrong tab here. Let's go back. Uh, defrag. All computers have this built in under your start program, um, usually system settings. Um, but this just makes it really easy to get access to it. Just to click on it, you can analyze it, then defrag it. And what that's going to do is organize all the files on your computer. Uh, you can think of it this way. With, uh, with a, a, a computer that's not defragged, it's kind of like your desk that's just cluttered with papers everywhere and you have no idea where to find a certain paper you're, you're looking for. And so when you defrag it, it basically organizes all those papers neatly so you know exactly where they're at. And because of this, it'll, uh, your computer will perform a lot faster because it'll know exactly where those files are at and it, it won't have to scan over all the unnecessary files looking for it. So defragging your computer is a very good uh, thing to do once a month, once every couple months anyway. You can uh, clear out your temporary files and clear your recent history if you don't want people knowing where you've been on the internet, what you're looking at, what you're searching for, or if you just uh, if you're just a very private person and just really, you know, just don't want anybody knowing anything, you just basically click these two buttons and it's going to take care of that for you. And then you got your settings. Um, general settings, just uh, you can read over there real quick. Pause the video and read them if you want to. Uh, you can set it to uh, scan on a schedule. Registry settings, uh, it's got privacy settings, what you want it to clear out on your computer when you clear your history. Uh, defrag schedule, you can automatically set that up. Ignore settings, driver update settings, home page settings. This is neat because it'll allow you to. Um, put any of these tools on your home page. Right now, these are the six that I have up there, but I can change that to any of these that I want to. So if I wanted the privacy settings instead, I could drag it up here, say, and put it here. So that's pretty neat. And then basically, you got your scan settings. So um, that's what it is. We click on click to start. I'm going to let it run through here and show you briefly what's on my computer because I haven't ran this for a while. Um, I'm going to pause this recording and I'll be back here in a minute. Okay, so after about two and a half minutes, here's what we've got. It's detected uh, 54 issues with um, processes on my computer that can be knocked out. And that will overall optimize my uh, memory on my computer, which will help it to perform faster. Uh, privacy files, there's 50, which I can delete. I usually delete these pretty regularly just because if you don't and they build up over time, it's going to slow your browsing down. Registry problems, 32. Um, clean those out. Startup processes, there's eight that's unnecessary and don't need to be in there that'll help speed up and boot my computer faster. I have six drivers that needs updated. Um, I was unaware of that, so I definitely need to get that done. And there's no malware, so that is great. So all I have to do now is click Fix All, and it's going to go through, and it's going to clean all this for me. It's going to tell me where I can download and update the new drivers. And so that's what uh, PC Health Advisor is. It's kind of like an all-in-one uh, software tool to keep your computer healthy, um, to keep your computer performing fast so it doesn't get sluggish. And over time, you know, you're going to start seeing errors on your computer and the blue screen of death that everybody talks about. Um, of course, I've never had that with Windows 7. I don't know if it's because I just continually uh, clean up my uh, files or if it's just because Windows 7 doesn't do it. But anyway, I do highly recommend PC Health Advisor. I believe it's, it's a great product. I haven't had no issues with it interfering with any other software on my computer, and I have a lot. Um, so if you want to uh, check it out in more detail, I actually built a website 
here at thepchealthadvisor.com and you can go here and get more information about it the latest update they recently just had a new update for it uh, to 3.1 and um, as I can't really update this video I will keep this page updated so if you find this video you know later down the road you can visit this website and it will always have the latest information about this product how it works the download link where you can get the free trial and what's great about the free trial is as I mentioned earlier it will actually let you scan your computer and you can find all the problems wrong with it before you ever buy it so you know whether you really even need to buy it or not so um, you can always get your download link here uh, you'll get more information about it um, some more tips and tricks to keep your computer up and uh, fast so um, check it out at thepchealthadvisor.com um, download it try it out for yourself and uh, like I said I, I believe it's a great product it's uh, it's performed extremely well for me and it's definitely uh, taken care of a lot of issues that I've had so I hope this review of PC Health Advisor has been helpful in um, helping you make your decision on whether you want to buy it or not so thanks